Hey guys, this is Astro Diver number one again. A few weeks ago, I installed this Garmin um, GPS chart plotter, uh, fish finder, and I was going through the menu and I noticed that there was an engine gauge setting. So I looked at that and there was an option on this unit to hook up your engine directly and to read the parameters off of it and that's something I would really like so I'm going to figure out how to do that and show you guys how I do it. So while researching how to hook up the Garmin unit to the engine parameter the computer output of the Yamaha F70 I learned that I needed to get a Yamaha engine interface cable um, Yamaha makes them and for a, quite a bit less you can get a Lorance cable here. This end goes into the engine and then this end here will come into the NEMA 2000 suit. So to hook the Garmin up to the Yamaha engine interface cable you need something in between called an NMEA 2000 or a NEMA 2000. This is a NEMA 2000 starter kit. Uh, I got this off of Amazon for $60. I'll put the screenshot in there. And by the way, I got the Yamaha interface cable, a Lawrence cable for $87. I'll put the screenshot in there. And the important part about this is it does come with an extra NEMA 2000T. And also with the Garmin Echo Map, it also comes with a uh, NEMA 2000 interface cable about five feet long. The Yamaha interface engine interface cable is about 15 feet. I hope that's going to be long enough. Um, there is another 15 foot extension cable in the NMEA backbone system. So we're going to put the system together and uh, just string it across the deck and see if this works. Okay, so to hook up the Yamaha interface cable, I'm going to find this white connector here. It's a four or five pin connector, um, but the new interface cable only uses two wires, but it should plug right in. So we're going to attach those two. Just going to plug these two in right here. And we got the two connected. Okay, so. The inner interface cable is attached. Run that wire over here. Now, the next thing we need to do is assemble the backbone of the NEMA 2000 unit. And I admit this is all new to me, but I've already assembled it once, so I kind of know what I sound like I'm talking about. But uh, basically, you're going to have these three T's right here. Again, two came with the kit and then the other one came with the interface cable. Very importantly you have two end nodes uh, that basically stop the backbone and this is going to be the backbone uh, where you want it to. So basically we're going to need to start the system at one end put an end here to stop the backbone and then we're going to run the power supply cable I think I'm going to run to this one. The input I want from the Yamaha cable I'm going to put into the center and then on the third one I'm going to my bad, hook up the cable to the Garmin uh, GPS chart plotter and then put the other terminating cap on. So that's the plan. I'm going to put it together okay so I hope you guys can see this the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this T this little notch right there I'm gonna put the notch in oops on this end they're male and female screw these two together and that's our end that's where we start on the backbone next is gonna be the power line coming in. Again you got a male and female. Look for the notch, look for the notch. Screw the two together. 
Now I'm going to put the center terminal in. Perhaps. All right, together. Now this is going to be where I'm going to put the Yamaha engine interface cable in. And then I'm going to put this last T here on. And then this is going to be where the Garmin NEMA 2000 cable interface cable goes in. And then this is going to go to the fish finder itself right here. And then, of course, we need to put the end of our backbone piece on right there. And that should be the system, that should be our backbone. Uh, the only thing we're going to need to do is hook this up to 12 volt power and then plug this into the Garmin unit. Alright, so I got the backbone, I'm just laying it across the deck. This will be the, the direction and the way I lay the wire, but underneath the boat. And then I'll have, my plan is to have the backbone in the console there on the left. Um, this is the wire that's going to go to the Garmin, so we're just going to lay that over there. And then these two here are just getting wired up underneath the console temporarily. Just make sure the unit works. Alright, we got the power wires temporarily wired right there. And then... We just popped in the uh, NEMA 2000 Garmin adapter, that's the middle plug there. Okay, we got it wired up, uh, turned on, nothing's freaking out yet, except for the fuel tank thinks it has 20,000 gallons in it. And man, it'll be nice to have a voltmeter on this. Uh, the original Bennington package did not come with a voltmeter. Uh, engine temperature, oil pressure, all that will be good stuff to know. Let's put the ears on her and uh, fire. Engine shutting down. Well, at least something's happening. Huh. Well, the tack's working. Ah, voltage. Very nice. Uh, hope to God that's not oil pressure and temperature. So I don't want to run the engine too long because uh, I got to work back there and I don't want all that water on the ground. But. And for 150 bucks, I got 230 into the Garmin. You know, that's not a bad deal to have all this information. So, next thing I'm going to do is permanently install the system properly, I hope. And I'll give you guys a little show through of that. Well, either way, we need to feed the wires to that bundle right there from the engine. But one concern I'm having is if the cable, which is 15 feet long, is going to be long enough underneath the boat to reach into the console about 8 feet away. If that doesn't work, we have a second plan. We can run the cable again through that bundle, but up into the battery box compartment, and then attach the NEMA back there. In that case, what we'll do to set up the NEMA as the terminator and then that, that'll be the power but going to the battery this time this cable here in the center will still be the Yamaha engine input the cable on the right now will be a 15 foot backbone extension which I can run back underneath the boat 
and then up to the console and then to the last T which will go into the Garmin unit and then of course the NEMA 2000 Terminator okay to start off first thing I want to do is take the uh, to put the Lawrence cable from the Yamaha engine and plumb it properly let's take out these two 10 millimeter screws I've already taken them out and then there's a uh, metal bracket that pulls off so you pull the screws out 10 millimeter again and then this bracket comes out it holds all the wiring in once the bracket and the screws are out you have this rubber grommet that actually if I can get that split and then you can run the new cable through there and tighten it all back up again okay I'm going to use the uh, small NEMA 2000 round end of course to push through and then uh, I'll just feed the wire through the grommet So this ground is a little tricky. Here's the uh, the engine cable coming through. Here's the split grommet. And notice here on the side, to the starboard side, um, the grommet has a flat end to it. So that needs to be pushed back in to tidy up. And of course leave enough cable for flexing. So just push in on that rubber grommet and you'll see that there's like a little rubber snap seal there and that'll pop into place and then you can put your lockdown plate back on alright the interface wire is clipped in and then I went ahead and used the factory uh, bracket hold and then we ran a little bit of extra wire next step is to get it through this webbing here the engine interface cable ran through the sheathing pretty easily uh, out to the other end. The only thing we're going to have to do now is uh, put on a couple of wire wraps here and then run it underneath the boat and see what it reaches. Yes, before you secure the engine cable, just make sure that uh, it has plenty of clearance for movement. Well, it looks like the cable is just going to reach underneath the console, so I don't have to go to the aft battery section. Only by a few feet, though. So, um, the NEMA starter kit gave me a two-foot cable, which is hopefully an extension cable that I can utilize. But And that'll give me enough to tuck that over and out of the water flow. All right, so the interface cable was long enough to get up through the uh, console. I'm going to use the extra two-foot cable that came with the NEMA kit. And I'm just going to hook the power up the way I had set it up earlier, right to there. And then the Garmin's going to tie into there. And then to mount it, I've got a nice dry wood platform way over there. So, I think it's going to work out fine. Uh, I hope this helps out. If you have any questions, comments, um, wise advice, which I could probably use at this point, please leave them in the comments. Take care.